Hello viewers, welcome to DG Shala. I am Dr. P. Anuradha, Assistant Professor, National Institute of Rural Development, Hyderabad. Today we will be discussing about the e-wallets. E-wallets are the electronic prepaid payment system. By using these wallets, we can purchase and transfer money by using our smartphone. We require internet connection in our phone to use the wallets. An individual account is required to be linked to the digital wallet to load money in it. There are many e-wallets available in the app store. Today we will discuss about one such app called SBI Buddy. In order to install SBI Buddy in your mobile, go to Play Store. Type SBI Buddy in your Play Store. You can find the logo of SBI Buddy. You have to press install. Open SBI Buddy successfully after installation. Then choose the language option. Type your mobile number, email ID, first name, last name, enter your date of birth, give your bank promo code, it is an optional and submit. Here I have given certain details of mine then it will generate OTP. OTP is one time password. It will be generated automatically. Then you have to create four digit number. Then you have to confirm. Now you have accessed SBI buddy. In order to log in, you have to enter your four digit PIN number. I have typed my four digit PIN number. Login. Now I am into SBI buddy and you can see my balance is zero. Now I want to add money into my buddy. I will enter the amount and I have to select the bank, net banking, you select the bank branch and submit. Now I want to add 100 rupees and I want to do the internet banking. Then I have to submit my bank online user ID and password. Then it is showing whether 100 rupees has to be transferred to the buddy. I pressed confirm. Then it is asking for my OTP. Once my OTP is generated, after submitting it, then my transaction is done and you can see 100 rupees in my buddy. Now in case if I want to transfer money to somebody, I have to type the 10 digit mobile number and continue. It is asking for the amount. I want to transfer 1 rupee and before the transaction is finished, it is asking my 4 digit pin number and confirm. In order to check the transactions, go to the menu, go to my transactions and click you can see 1 rupee has been transferred from my account. Now you can find on the screen rupees 99 and 1 rupee has been sent to the other person from my wallet. In case if you forget your wallet pin, you can generate a new pin. Go to temporary pin 
generated. It will send you one temporary pin to register mobile number. Use the pin and enter new pin. Login in order to make any transactions. If you want to send money by using SBI Buddy, the other beneficiary should also register with SBI Buddy. In the same case, for the all the e-wallets, the same apps should, needs to be installed by the other beneficiary too. Thank you.